Hello everyone and welcome back to this new video. Hope you're doing great. So in today's video, I wanted to make an artwork uh, inspired by the Kintsuji, of course, but I wanted also to get this mosaic look. So um, I've already prepared a small 20 by 20 centimeters uh, canvas. If you want to know how I prepared it and every steps of this painting with all the material, all the te techniques and the tips, you will need to uh, subscribe to my Patreon page. So of course I will link you the, the, my page to in the description as always. So here is a smaller video, a more condensed video. Uh, I first applied a um, teal color all over the canvas just to block the canvas and have a unify color everywhere. And then I'm going to glaze some um, greenish blue. This is the one from Amsterdam that, I'm, that I always used. And I'm going to glaze this all over and try to feel the little gaps and dips and with a little uh, tissue I'm going to erase some of the parts so you will end up with seeing really seeing the um, the 3d effect that I've made on my canvas it is a little bit messy but I'm going to do multiple coats of paint after that so yeah I got a comment saying that I keep saying in my video so yeah yes I I keep saying that because <laughs> this is how I talk but uh, I try to remove them as pos as much as possible but sometimes I keep seeing this so yeah here I'm saying it again here I'm applying more coats of teal color let's get back to the video sorry it is a simple acrylic paint and those are the color that i often use i'm just using my makeup brush to try to blend and remove the brush strokes as much as possible and here i'm just bringing back this teal that we applied earlier and it was a little bit messy with the dark blue so that's why I'm applying more teal here so I first start by adding the, sh the large shadows and highlights and then with a smaller brush I add those little cracks and small details and I tend to start by blocking the canvas with large shadows and have an idea of the composition and then with tiny brushes uh, I like to do smaller details like this. For this painting I wanted to have a mineral look, uh, I always say that, but here with a more stonish look. So yeah, and also you can see here that I'm kind of applying a vignette through this painting I tend to have shadows on on corners and it really gives a nice pop of color in the center and I like to do this here I'm adding yellow ochre just to know where I'm going to place the gold and now I'm just glazing some green to really make this teal alive and I think it's really working well. I'm going to finish up by adding more uh, little cracks but this time with white. I'm using my white Posca pen, I really like to use those. So now it is time to add the gold and for this I'm going to use the PBO uh, gilding paste. This is colored in blue just so I know where um, uh, where I'm placing it even though now the painting is blue so but that's not a problem I've waited 15 minutes till my gilding paste is dry 
and it really stays tacky so you can wait like two three hours and get back to it with the gold leaf it will totally stick this is the moment I realize I've applied too much gold I mean you can totally leave the painting like that but that's not what I really wanted for this one so I'm going to apply more paint on top of that here you see me using some tape this is just to remove tiny gold uh, dust that are stuck into the painting this is a really uh, a really great tip so if you want to remove any gold parts for this painting I'm going to sign it on the sides I don't know why but I don't I, I did not want it to have my signature in front of this one so I've tried to sign on the sides here you can see I have applied my varnish I thought it was finished but I'm going to add few more details and also I'm going to add in the center a nice pop of orange and I think it is looking fantastic uh, in this way and first we need to apply white I'm applying white because if you apply directly yellow on top of the blue you will end up with a dark green and that's not what I wanted here I wanted to really have a nice pop of color in the center and I try to stay precise with my brush just so I have nice a nice definition of the part of the broken parts of the mosaic style uh, that I want so you really need to stay precise I'm also since I have my white uh, on hand I'm going to create just some more highlights on the parts where I thought it was missing and it will create a, like a faux shine, a faux highlights on the painting and it, it really brings the transparency like, it left, like if it was a real stone. Here you can see my yellow is really popping out. I'm also going to top this with some uh, bright orange. I've mixed it with um, yellow ochre just so it is not as bright. I'm also going to finish this painting by adding more sharpness between those little pieces of rocks and also adding little tiny highlights. I want to thank you all of my patrons here who support my channel, who support my art journey and I want also to thank you, you who watch my videos. Also I got a lot of views under my previous videos and yeah I wanted to say thank you. I have finished, I have applied three coats of varnish and here is the finished painting. Hope you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up or comments if you like it. I wish you all a great day and see you, bye, bye guys.